Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today it is accepting all trades time with the Golden Knights. If someone, anybody, I don't even care if they're in the NHL, if they send us a trade, absolutely, I'm accepting. It could be the worst trade ever, does not matter. Gotta say yes regardless, gotta say yes to the dress. So we are 90 overall, which is pretty solid. And I'm going to turn off owner mode. Salary cap, yeah, we'll leave that on. Fog of War, no thank you. No thank you as well. And nah, because our player morale is going to drop drastically with all the trades that we are likely going to be making. Rules and settings, real quick here. Quick settings, let me turn off injuries. Let me turn off autosave so I don't bloat the amount of save files that I have. And obviously trade offers want to leave that on. Waiver. I never really get these, but I'll leave it on anyway. And yeah. Okay. Should be okay. I'm used to turning these off, but obviously for this, you know, got to leave it on. So, yes sir, let's jump in and let's see how many trades we will receive as the Golden Knights. Okay, we've got some pretty good chemistry going on here. Yeah, I mean, it's not great on the defensive side of things, but still, not bad. Yeah, okay, I'm just curious to see if we get anything, but no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so, be a real shame if someone ruined that, and I already know they're going to. I can't wait to get trades that are going to demolish this entire squadron. So, let's go to our trading block, modify it so that... Oh, we got Zach Dean. That guy's got some, some value to him. All right, but I am going to remove all y'all. And I'm going to add in some big guns and hope that we get, yeah, some very, very Pinteresting trades. So we'll put Carlson in there. Who else can I put? I want to, okay, yeah, you've got some value, sure. And I think he was already there before, but adding him back, I suppose. We'll put Pietrangelo on the block too. Yes, sir, Pietrangelo will be added to our trading block. So I'm going to turn this on for first and future as well. Yes, please. And then I'm going to delete these and make default ones. So we want... No, that's not what I want. Okay, is it going to default this time? Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay, we get a forward. We get a defenseman. And we get a goaltender block here. Um, instead of doing goalies, I feel like no one really trades goalies. Maybe I'll do pending UFA. Yeah, let's try that. Try that on for size. Oh, wait, that's surplus. Okay, hold on. Never mind. Scratch that. We will change this to goalie. Yes. All right. Lovely. And now, for the wants. You could trade me literally anything. It does not matter. So I will turn on all of the draft picks. Yes, please. And I'm going to have to change this again, I think, because for some reason, it just automatically updates the trading block. I don't know why it does that, but it does that. Oh, they're already basic. And then they just have the defenseman thing twice. Except, hmm. It's not, because this is, yeah, any. So I'll do that. You know what, I'll just, uh, I'll default it again. Just to make sure. So, yep, any forward, we take those. Any defenseman, we take those. And you know what? Your contract's running up at the end of the year. I don't gotta worry about it, because I'm only simming this year. So it doesn't matter to me. I will take your pending UFAs, okay? Cool, there's the trade block. Watch me sim up to the regular season and it's already changed. I will be fuming. Absolutely fuming. You know what I just realized? I, I did this wrong. You get more trades when you start at the expansion draft. So I'm gonna have a 33rd team. Yeah, okay, never mind. Scratch all this. And we're, you know, rewind the thing. We're, we're starting over. Okay, so CPU trades, yep. Expansion draft exemption, absolutely not. And I think we're good. Yeah, pretty sure that's all we need from here. Oh, wait, no, add a contract here. I want to make sure that's on as well. The only reason I came into this draft is because of this. Yeah. <laughs> Zajac, what a beauty. The scouting reports do not lie. He is, in fact, a medium franchise player. And the Rabbits get a medium elite 80 overall. Okay, cool. Well, anyway, on that note, I'm out of here. And with that, the trade block has been updated once again. Let's get crazy. Let's see what happens here. All right. Can I just do a sim to next season? I sure can. Here we go. All right, primo and a third in exchange for a fourth and a fifth. Yes, sir. Of course. Yo, the Wayne train? Yes, please accept that trade. And we get uh, Corrali now. 
for a third and a fifth, and that will include a sixth coming our way. So accept that. Okay, a Washington second and a Detroit second for those. That's like two prospects. Detroit's getting a steal here. Okay, well, accept that. Um, Hag and Carlson for two seconds. Okay, accept that. Gustafson and a fifth in exchange for Laurent Brassois and a second. Okay. Wow. Chaika and a seventh for Tomas Tata. A third and a fourth. We are getting a lot of trades here. Kyle Clifford. Going to be a golden knight for how long? Can't tell ya. Uh, Logan Thompson will be leaving us for Nate Thompson. And Clendenning. Okay, except that one. A little bit of a break there, finally. Hey, Lysel, wait, that's a real guy? Is that a real guy? The one that we had in the... Hammerheads? Maybe it's a real dude. How are we... How is that a fair trade? We're losing Chandler? What a joke. Okay, well, except, I suppose. And we have another trade here. Nolan Patrick heading to Colorado. Connolly becoming a Golden Knight. All right, there's a bit of a break there again, it seems like, but another big trade. Our team's going to look significantly different. Uh, third and a fifth for Roy and Berchi. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Not really sure. And another big trade here. Riley Smith and Martinez for Morrow and Lundqvist. What is this? We finally got a little bit of a break here. Are we going to make it to next season without any more trades? Yes, we are. All right, neat. Let's sim up to the regular season. Here we go. Another one. McNabb, see you later. Uh, let's um, just do the best roster, I suppose. Is that going to be the only... No, it will not. Patan for Gustafson. So we just got him, and now we're trading him in typical Golden Knight fashion. Assistant GM, best roster. And... Oh, I thought that was going to be another trade. No, not another trade. Not a trade. Nice. We finally made it. We have arrived. We have been absolutely gutted. Holy. There is not much left of this roster. But. Let's uh, let's do what we can here, you know. We still got that first line, which is a plus three. Not bad. Plus one on the second line there. Kurashev, 80 overall centerman. Love that. Okay. Defensively, Petrangelo and Theodore are still there. Still got White Cloud, and then we got Hutton, and then Lundqvist, and Clendenic. Mm-hmm. Let's go to the goaltenders. We got Robin Leonard still and Ferguson. Let's go, Dylan. He's going to be our backup. Yeah. This is going to be a poor season from the boys. Well, maybe anyway. Yes, as expected, our trade block was updated by someone that is not me. Let's just put all our superstars on there, see if any of them end up going. But pretty much everyone's going to be on the block anyway because of the surplus block that I will be creating right now. So any forward, and we also want any defenseman, yes sir. And on top of that, our goalies are also on the block. Okay, current picks first, yes. I will be accepting those. Future picks first, yep. And then I have to modify the wants, which looks, oh, no, never mind. It was a forward from 17 to 30. We want, I don't care if you're 50, I still want you on my team. I just want to make some moves here, okay? Defense and pending. You know, let's make it goalies this time. We've made enough trades. Let's try to get a goalie in here if we can. Let's turn the first back on as well for current and future. Nice. All right, the trade block has been updated once more. Let's do this. Season will begin right now against the Seattle Kraken. The two newest franchises facing off to begin the year. Love to see it. We also face them on the trade deadline. Come on. Yeah, we won. That's all that matters. We're, we're the superior expansion team. No! Oh, dude. Come on, Colorado. Fine. All right. Assistant. Best roster again. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The Rabbits are offering us Yandel and a second for March or so. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, I have to accept it, but holy. Yeah, they, these teams just continue to gut us. These teams are predators, man. Holy crap. They see an opportunity and they attack. Timothy Jimothy? Yo, let's go. We're getting Timothy Jimothy for Clifford and Lysel. Yes, please. 
best roster that. Come on, TJ. Giving up Tata for a fourth here to the Seattle Kraken. Uh, just best roster. Yes. Boom. This team is not doing as bad as I thought they were going to be doing. Stewart's, we're getting a backup. And then Tulio, which I thought was a baseball player, in exchange for Dadanov. Kind of sucks we're losing Dadanov. But actually, Dadanov isn't even a part of the Golden Knights anymore. So, yeah, that's a thing. But uh, anyway, we're, we're in too deep now. So that's a change I will have to make. But I'm assuming I'll just wait for the next roster update from NHL. Kurishev and Hutton for just, yeah, I don't know, uh, two draft picks and what looks like a prospect, except that. Okay, and once again, best roster. Holy, it's going to take a year and a half to get through the season at this point. Boone Jenner? Give me all of that. Yes, and I don't even think, is it going to put him into the team? I don't know if it will, if I don't go do it, but we're going to find out. Roster management, I am not interested in that. I let the auto guy do all that. I just sit here and Say yes to any trade that comes by. Oh, wow. This is a big one. We're losing Corrali, Patan, and White Cloud for Abruzizi, Ian Scott, and a fourth. Yeah. I mean, I suppose I'll say yes to that one. Okay. And best roster, please and thank you. And now we're losing Connolly and Moro for a third and a second to Chicago. Amadio, welcome back to the team. Best roster. You better believe it. We are, you know, still kind of floating there. We're not doing awful. Uh, Carrier and Patera for John Merrill. Are these, like, really fair trades? There's, a, I can't, I just can't wrap my head around these trades being fair. But regardless, I can't say no. So I'm, you know, in a bit of a, a pickle here. Nate Thompson and Lundqvist in exchange for Craig Anderson, Mark Pizik, a second and a sixth. Except, and okay, best roster. I'm very curious to see what our team is going to look like after the trade deadline. It's going to be completely different again. Uh, O'Rourke and Shaw for Clendenning and a fourth. Except that, and you already know what I'm going to say. You already know it. We're still somehow, you know, floating around the same amount of wins as regulation losses, which I did not expect, but I'll take it. For sure. Never mind. We're, we're slowly collapsing here, which is more of what I expected, to be honest. I'm going to keep our current trading block, and I'm going to enter the deadline and see if we get any trades here. I'm not going to make any trades because that's not, you know, part of the whole thing. Look at this. We got three studs here on the trade block. Sorokin's on the block, too. Uh, is there any way to, like, simulate? Or the deadline's at 12 p.m. Oh, my goodness. And it's going that slowly i have to wait that long wow detroit made a trade that must be nice congrats they made a trade with montreal anybody want to make a trade with the golden knights you know it's right here the opportunity is knocking i wonder if i could find a trade for eichel yakupov and blomkvist no thank you yeah i mean i know that i'm supposed to accept all trades but technically I'm the one that generated that trade. Like, if they come right back and give me the same trade, I have to say yes. But I was just curious at that point. Let's see what we can get for Stone, too. Nothing. All right. Well, let's just wait it out, I suppose. Oh, my goodness. We actually got a trade. That is spectacular. I was about to pretty much give up and say, well, I guess we're not getting any, but we sure did. The New York Rangers are sending us Truba, a fourth, and Veerling in exchange for a seventh and Patches. So let's go ahead and accept that. Okay. Yeah. We have, you know, made quite a few trades here, but I think that might be one of the bigger ones. See you later, Shea Theodore. We're losing him. A third and a fourth for Yakupov in two seconds. Wow. Let me just edit this trade. I'm not going to actually modify it. I will accept it. I just want to see what this guy... Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, Alexander, I see you. I see you. All right, well, yeah, let's propose it. Okay, and boom. All right, this is starting to drive me crazy. I'm just going to say that we've made enough trades, but here's the trade summary. I didn't even know this was an option. That's how little I actually participate in this event, but 
yeah, there's been quite a few trades, but uh, <laughs> I am not sticking around for this whole thing. Absolutely not. So let's go ahead and let's continue what will be a rather poor season from the Golden Knights. So this is what's left. We have been destroyed. Holy smokes. All right, well, yeah, our team stinks is the best way to put it. What about Truba? Can I... Mm -hmm. I know they are both right-handed, but I don't care. Gets a zero, and then we have, you know, at least an 85 playing with an 89. Oh, uh, why am I even trying? We're gonna suck anyway. All right, well, let's finish up the season. I should do an accepting all trades, except, you know, be a little bit more strict with the trade block. Instead of making it so that we get 5 million trades and get a similar result every time, I should make it so that, you know... If we do get trades, it's going to be players that are actually going to benefit us. But knowing this game, we probably wouldn't get a lot of trades then. All right, stop the simulation. Let us check out. Ooh, we actually got 71 from Mark. Let's go. Yeah, only 33 wins. Not a great year from the boys, but we didn't finish last in the division. At least we beat LA, so got that going for us. Red Deer didn't do so hot either. 81 points, 36 Ws on the season. Entire league, Columbus. With the President's Trophy. Good for them. Okay. Yeah, congrats. Let's see if it is the top 16 teams. It is not. We have the 20th placed Anaheim Ducks. Oh, dude. Not my system. Alright, so... There you have it. The playoffs are set in stone. Let's check out the player stats for the season first real quick here. So, yeah, we got 71 from Stone. Eichel was a plus 23, but he only had 66 points. Hmm. Interesting. Abruzizi is down here. Look at him go. Low top six. Okay, so... Not great. What about goalies? Robin Leonard. He had a 920. Anderson had a 921. Skinner with a 948? I mean, he played 12 games. That's not like a small sample size. Wow. All right, our goalies actually killed it. They were the best part of our team by far. Let's go to the entire league, shall we? Elvis gets a 917 save percentage and 43 Ws. Freddy with a 922. We have a 925 down there for Kemper. And yeah, 42 dubs from Mr. Anderson. Mike Smith did well this season. Let's check out. I always press the wrong one every time. Defenseman, Adam Fox, 71. Brent Burns, 69. Same with Latang. Nice. Hedman, 68. All right, Jeff Petrie killing it this year. boy, John Carlson. Forward time. Boom. McDavid with the Art Ross. 98 points. No one broke 100 this year. We get 95 from Matthews, and it looks like a Rocket Richard by a landslide. And then we have Malkin with 94. Same with Dreisaitl. And then it drops off to 88 with Crosby. Miller with 85. Marner. Okay. Let's simulate the playoffs and find out who is going to emerge victorious? The Pittsburgh Penguins take home the Stanley Cup. Milwaukee Admirals going to be the AHL champions for this season. I feel like there couldn't have been a lot of series that went to Game 7 because that ended really early. Sometimes it ends a lot closer to the off-season tings. But this time it seemed it was done pretty quick. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? So, uh, the awards. Yeah, let's have a look at those. Pittsburgh, we know that. Columbus with the Presidents, we knew that. And Colorado made it to the finals. Individual, we got McDavid with the Art Ross and the Hart. I feel like these two are always 1-2. Like, you win both. Uh, yeah, he did get the Richard. The James Norris goes to Fox. Matthews with the Lady Bing. Boldy with the Calder. Let's go. Crosby, Conn, Smythe, Markstrom, Vesna. Kemper gets the Jennings. Charo gets the Masterton. Uh, Scrimes gets the Jack Adams. Kopitar with the Selkie. McDubstep or McDusty with the Ted Lindsay. And yeah, as we saw, Matthews will get the Rocket Richard. Let's see who got the most points in the playoffs. I'm kind of curious. And it looks like Goudreau with 24. Wow. What a legend. We got 22 from Malkin. Crosby, 22. Lindholm, 22. So it was Pittsburgh, right? Yeah, so these two did well. And then we have Landeskog and McKinnon here. Raquel, Gensel. Okay, so yeah, Goudreau did insane there. Let's check out the playoff tree. So there you have it. 
Yeah, it uh, was, well, there was, you know, every round or every, I guess, step of the playoffs had at least one series go to seven. So, yeah, but there was only one in round one, and that was Vancouver Calgary. But there you have it, guys. Let me know what team you want to see next and if there's any stipulation you want to see for these all trades accepted. I'll see you soon.